Hi, Tech Pro here. So now we're going to start building the plus minus DC voltage supply extension. So let's get into it. So first we start with the box. I came up with this simple design. So this is the front panel. So a little bit of air, air holes, and then it. Um, you have the two fuses and then the uh, output side. So this is the back side, so we have the fan, the place for the fan, and then the three inputs. And then inside, you can actually take that away. And then inside, I built like two coffin like setups here. two platforms to bring the um, voltage um, converters to the same height as the main of the main of the airflow. So anyway, here we have the box printed. That was fast. <laughs> uh, well, to take a little bit longer than just filming this. So, and that's the inside. And now the only thing we need to do is to get rid of the support material. I have a piece of paper underneath here because this black surface is very reflective. Ah, this is a bit dangerous. Should be wearing gloves.
perfect block. Didn't damage it completely beyond repairs. It's a little bit scrap. So, so far. Good, and now we can actually test a few components. The fan and the fuses. Just one of those. Oh, knock the camera. So. A bit of a mess. As usual, that one takes away support material. So now it's the last to see if the modules will approximately sit where they're supposed to. This was tricky too. Ah, I think that'll be good enough. That is good. You don't really need to put four, four tap screws in there. You know, it's good enough with two. I actually have very tiny screws. So I think we just put one in each corner and call it there. So that was the. Um, the box fixed. So anyway, we have the um, full wave rectifier here on the input. It's the end of phase. Oh, okay, we say start of coil one, end of coil two, and then the center entry. And um, so I'm going to use this black cable here just to connect to the AC. So the AC will be one. One um, pin to here, and the other pin to there, and then I'll just use some random glue to uh, forward the um, center entry. So well, let's get on to that. So, put the wires cut to length, and then 
I'll use these pliers to strip them. First one done. Okay, oh, this one's gonna be so much easier. I don't know plugs, but you know this hole is ridiculous. So what I usually do is I solder the wire directly to this plate. It's a much better solution. So anyway, not to bore people too much. Anyway, that's what it you know should look like when it's soldered to the, um, the pin. So um, I'll just get the other ones done. So anyway, not to bore people too much. Anyway, that's what it you know should look like when it's soldered to the, um, the pin. So um, I'll just get the other ones done. So anyway, that's all. Um, all the three done. So we're gonna take the 
two black ones, which I've designated as the AC, and then we're going to solder them onto the AC and put on the full, full wave rectifier. Something like that. Don't think I'll bother to shorten the legs. And then uh, protect it with some uh, shrink wrap. Let's get into it. So, <coughs> I'm going to um, add the um, plus and minus leads to this. And then at the same time, I'm actually going to directly drive the um, fan from the rectifier. So, um, so the fan is 12 volts. DC and then it has a thermal switch. So when the temperature goes over a certain limit, then this act activates and starts the fan. So I'm going to integrate these um, wires in with the uh, connection of these. Okay, so now the connections to the rectifier are finalized. So we have um, stealing power for the and also in both cases, then we have plus and minus leads. I'll just get the shrink wrap on and then uh, this part should be done. So well, anyway, that's done for shrunk the shrink wrap. It's a little bit neater. This is my extra extra light for um, the magnifying glass I'm using. The large magnifying glass seems to blow out the camera. I remember to turn it off a little bit of pitch. Anyway, now I'm just going to join the last part of the fan circuit. So here's the here's the thermal switch, and then that's the plus for the fan, and then I just need to connect those two together. And they have the working fans. So now we have um, the rectified DC voltage. So that's plus minus, and then we have ground reference for that. Now we can connect in these modules so to make sure we get the right side. So in yeah <laughs> as you see the in is on the wrong side for my illustration since we're coming in from here so if I turn it that way just for clarity, so it, it is marked on the back uh, what's in and what's pl plus and minus on the in and then what's on the out. So that's probably a good picture. So anyway, we um, it's actually annoying it's marked on the other side of the PCB because and it gets a bit confused. Minus and plus. So that's minus and plus. So what will happen now is that we will um, Minus um, 12 volts regulated. So I will just um, try and fiddle those together. Or probably just assemble it uh, outside the box, all of it with its wiring as far as possible, and then um, test it also before we put it in the box.
So anyway, here's it's um, all wired up. Um, got the air conditioning on, it's pretty hot right now. Uh, got the um, ends of the secondaries here. And then here's the center entry. Fed to both voltage regulation circuits. And now I'm going to measure the output. And um, either we'll get smoke or nothing or there'll be some kind of voltage here. I haven't done any, any adjustments on the on the potentiometer so and I don't know where the voltage is going to end up. So I have to go around to put, plug it in. turn it off and we can get a voltage measurement from the input side.
Okay, so that's 17 volts coming in off to regulation. Now I put the extra cap, so it shouldn't be that, that terribly bad ripple on it. Let's try and see if we have any adjustability on the voltage. Ah, of course, it's not. There's no load, so that could actually cause. Was it also not to work? So I wouldn't be too surprised if this circuit under absolute no load would not actually work. So I'll try to get to put a load on this and see what happens. Okay, that, that was a bit weird. I mean, it, it's quite easy. That, that's to the current limiting. That's the voltage adjustment. And clockwise is more power, which means more current or more voltage. And I was adjusting those two, like putting this, trying to get rid of the voltage current restriction. Basically max out the current. That's maxed out when it starts clicking, and I couldn't get the voltage to go to to adjust itself at all. But now, now I can. Let's try it again. I could swear it wasn't working, but now, now I can adjust it as I would exp have expected. So anyway, my I, my objective is to have an approximately plus minus 12 volt system. So doesn't have to be that super precise. Well, that's good enough. I don't need the current limiting because I have fuse protection. So let's try and um and I put a small load, it's only a 500 ohm resistor, so that won't create much current, but uh, it didn't make any difference anyway, as far as I could see. But I'll move the load over and, uh, and try and adjust the other, the minus side of things. Just turn the power off, not to short circuit anything. No, wait, that should just stay there. And 
Let's preset the current to <clears throat> just give us as much as it can. Seems to when it starts clicking when it's at the max. I really don't want those touching because the <coughs> negative potential <laughs> on the um, ground plane on this one. So if the ground plane is touched, that's bad news. So, but anyway, now I should be ready to adjust. So let's, let's see if I can. Now I've got the small load on it. fiddle with that for a bit and see if I can get now oh, it's a logical mistake um, this is the um, negative voltage output so of course the the ground plane is I mean that's fixed on the incoming minus 17 and it's that that we're regulating um, against ground so of course the what you still want you want to take the negative voltage out of the um, plus side so as you see now, I've adjusted it. It varies a bit depending on the load and stuff. But that's good enough. So eleven point, uh, practically 12 volts, minus 12 volts. So I have to actually move, I move the wire to the correct terminal. 
This is the thing when you're working with negative voltages. It's, it's, it, yeah, it gets you sometimes, especially if you're tired. But anyway, so that's working now. So um, I'll just move that wire, and then um, yeah, then basically this circuit here is um, okay. And then, um, going to stuff it into this box. I don't know if it's how much I will video that process because it's just uh, yeah, adjusting things around and fiddling so it's, and there's no space to actually um, film this anyways. So, but I'll be coming back with a you know with a fi final um, report on it after I put, put it in there. So anyway, put the wire into the correct slot. And then it's and then the, it's already pre-adjusted, good enough for what I'm going to use it for, and um, just to get it in the box, and then um, yeah, I'll be back when that's done. So over time, I've been investigating on the standalone circuit, and um, yeah, I thought this might happen. The um, this regulator board that I'm using for the negative side has actually, a, yeah, because of the tolerances between these different boards, it has a, um, it uses up more voltage in the regulation than um, that will permit me to have minus 12 volts. I can get it to like minus 11 volts. So I compromised. It's going to be in, for my I'm going to use plus minus 9 volts. But it really doesn't matter because the what I'm going to drive doesn't specifically need 12 volts. It can be just as well be plus minus nine. I think I could actually fix that by changing. I have more of these boards, so I'm pretty certain that if I swap, uh, if if this was critical for me, what I'd do is I'd take another board um, and then test that because this one actually. Um, this one could be adjusted to plus 12 volts without any, any issues with the incoming 17 volt. But it's it's a little bit on the limit. I looked at the specs. Ah, so so much as they are, then there's like it would need like five volts just to start working, approximately. So then, yeah, so pushing it a bit to get to the 12 volts. So. But as I said, probably if I took another board. From the same series, then it will probably tolerance-wise, I might be able to hit that. It's probably the coil or something that's uh, that gives a little bit of yeah, a little bit of difference, or maybe the accuracy of the adjustable resistor. Or but I think I'll just leave it plus minus um, nine volts for now. will do just fine. So now I've got all the parts assembled into the box. I do a big struggle. It's a bit uncomfortable on the hands because I actually haven't designed this with round the internal parts with rounded corners. Or I yeah, should probably spend more time fine-tuning the plastic design. But anyway, everything fits. Um, and then the very odd thing is that, as you see, I've got it powered up. So um, when I went to check it, measure check it, um, see if it was okay then the minus side was totally indicating the totally wrong voltage so I um, started tuning it and I was actually able to like you see I was able to um, tune it to minus 12 volts the margin so I don't know what, what was going on when I was trying to initially get it to work so now I have um, plus minus 12 volts like I originally planned yep so that's that and then it's just to um, to um, add the cover on with the screws and uh, call it a day. So that's the cover on. So it looks like in the front. So we have the two fuses and the output. So it's now plus minus 12 volts is planned. the input side plus the fan so the fan will start if the temperature inside gets around. I think it was 45 degrees I had the temperature I can't remember right now. And then you have the center entry and then the 
the start of each secondary coil. So that's a nice neat little package. And uh, this I'll use in combination with the AC power supply built. I hope you found that informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Um, merch is available. Or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's also possible. The links are in the description. Uh, all the contributions will go towards developing the channel and creating new projects. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.